Hey, what is going on? My name is Mike and this is all about pressure washing. And today we're going to tackle one of those issues that you're going to run into when you're out there washing. And probably today when you're out there just driving around, you're going to see at least one or two houses that have vinyl siding. After all, vinyl siding is one of the most popular sidings in the U.S. because of its affordability and its durability. Now, the one downside of vinyl siding is over time oxidation occurs. So that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about what causes it, why it's important to clean, some of the best ways to upsell the service, and of course, how to remove it. So oxidation is a chemical reaction between the components in the PVC, which is what the siding is made of, and oxygen, and most often occurs from prolonged exposure to sunlight. Now oxidation causes the color of the vinyl to appear faded, as well as creating a duller appearance. And if you rub your fingers across it, you're gonna see and feel this chalky white substance on your fingers. And you're also gonna see the mark left on the siding where you just rubbed off the oxidation. Now, I know y'all have seen what happens when somebody applies way too much pressure to oxidized vinyl siding you see every square inch of where the pressure hit it. And that is why we never use pressure when we're cleaning vinyl siding or really any siding. And yeah, we use a pressure washer most of the time in my business, but when you're downstreaming and you're using the right tips, you have the unloader adjusted correctly. So you're basically soft washing, right? It's not a 12 volt system, but you're still soft washing because you're using minimal pressure. So if you're brand new to the industry or thinking about getting started, some of the things that I just said may seem a little bit confusing, but if you've got any kind of questions about the difference between soft washing and pressure washing, what tips to use, what are the best ratios and the chemicals to clean any surface that you might encounter on a residential property, what's the best equipment to use, and how do you use it? You need to check out the number one selling pressure washing and soft washing course in the world, and that is how to wash. There is a link below. Our spring special is still going on, so please use promo code SPRING50 if you want to save 50 bucks. I also have to say that the price is going up in the very near future, so definitely jump in now if you're interested. Okay, so not only can oxidation make the house look old and faded, it actually has a negative impact on the vinyl itself because over time without proper maintenance, the siding becomes brittle and it becomes breakable and that's not a good thing. But obviously with regular maintenance, uh, this can be avoided and that's through regular pressure washing, but also the oxidation removal process. And that's great for companies like ours. Um, okay, so we've explained and everybody understands what is causing the oxidation. We know why it's important to remove it. And so now let's talk about the process to remove it. Now, we personally don't do a whole lot of oxidation removal anymore. It's one of those services, kind of like interior window cleaning, that we just shy away from. It's very time consuming, and we have a pretty high hourly rate that we try to hit. And honestly, most people are unwilling to pay us to do this service for them. But there are a lot of guys out there that do offer this service, and it's highly profitable. Now, this is just for my business, right? We've been around for a long time, over 20 years, and we have a tremendous amount of leads coming in, as well as repeat customers. So our schedule stays full with the things that we like to do and the things that are most profitable for us. And that's also something that goes hand in hand with your marketing. So the more leads you have, the pickier you're able to be on the types of jobs that you take on and how how much you charge for them. Now, I just put out a new course. It's called my Six Figure Marketing Framework, and it covers all of this stuff. So if you're interested, second link, check it out. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right, so you've got oxidation, and now you're ready to remove it. So we're going to use these shutters behind me as an example because they're made of the same PVC material that the vinyl is on a house. And with a darker shutter like this, it's more prone to oxidize or at least show it more. So I thought this would be a pretty good example. Now, the first thing that you want to do is pre-wet the surface, and then you're going to apply your chemical of choice. Now, over the years, we've used a bunch of different products and some are good, some are bad, but the one that has really proven to do the best for us is Dynamite Degreaser by Southeast Softwash. Now, this is a multi-surface alkaline cleaner and it can be used for a number of different things. It's a concrete cleaner and it removes oil stains. It's really good for that, but it also is a great brushless oxidation removal. Uh, it is concentrated, so you're going to have to dilute it. Everybody's product has uh, different suggested dilutions, right? And they are all found on the product that you're using, so Consult that because I'm not going to be able to tell you in the comments section how to mix your chemicals when I don't know what you're using, what surface you're cleaning, how dirty it is, or how oxidized it is. But with any of these, um, you want to do a test spot first. Then you want to work in small sections because you don't really want this stuff to stay on too long. You definitely don't want it to dry, but you do want it to have enough dwell time so it's able to do its job. And that really just takes a couple minutes, and that's why we work in small sections. And after you apply it, you let it sit, you wipe it down. After you wipe it down, you 
definitely need to rinse it off again. And it's that simple. Now, obviously a shutter is a lot faster and easier than working on an entire house, but the process is the same. Now you can use a pump up sprayer if you're doing the whole house. You could use your 12 volt system if you want. Now there are some cases where the oxidation is really bad and you're likely gonna have to pull out your brush, probably a pole to agitate the surface. And all you're gonna do, you're gonna pre-wet the surface, you're gonna spray it on, you're gonna brush the surface, agitate it, and then you're gonna rinse. Um, it's pretty labor intensive, so you need to make sure that you're charging accordingly. Okay, another thing that I wanna mention is if you show up to the house and you're about to get started, you've done your pre-inspection walkthrough and you notice that there was oxidation on the shutters, on the siding, or on the garage door, anywhere that there's oxidation, it's something that you should take note of and it's definitely something that you should document and share with the homeowner prior to beginning the work because unfortunately, a lot of people don't really understand what oxidation is. Uh, they probably didn't even notice it, but if they did, they may be under the impression that this is something that's gonna be removed with the soft washing or the pressure washing process. And we all know that that's just not the case. So I would definitely pull them aside, ask them to do the walkthrough with you, show them the finger test, have them do it themselves and show them the chalky white substance on their fingers prior to you starting. So they don't think that this is something that you caused with the pressure washing or the soft washing process. If they're not home, pull out your phone, make a quick 15 second video with a quick explanation, uh, text it to them, email it to them, just a little added CYA for you and your business. Managing customer expectations is absolutely critical in this business, but it also opens up the door for you to upsell the service. So you've established that they've got an issue and you've shown them what's going on. It's outside the parameters of a normal house wash, but you would be more than happy to give them an estimate for the oxidation removal. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. Hope you learned a little something. Um, if you've got any questions, leave a comment below. Don't forget to check out how to wash. Use promo code SPRING50 to get your 50 bucks off before we raise the price. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it and I hope you have a great day.